Hey everyone, it is Thursday, June 23rd. The time is 6 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 27 degrees Celsius. I am standing here on top of a big rock in Yorkville Village. There's an entrance to Bay Subway Station. I'm just gonna navigate my way down the rock here. There we go. And I just finished recording a live stream that started in Midtown. And I ended up right in this spot. And I'll be doing the reverse of a walk pretty much that I did about three weeks ago. So for this one, I'll be heading on over to Young Street, and I think I'll take Bay to get there, or rather <laughs> Bloor Street West, which is just to the south of here. And I'll walk east over to Young, and then I'll head south down to the intersection of Young and Dundas. I do have plans to be there for 6.30, and given that at 6.02, I think the timing should work out. This wasn't a walk I had planned ahead of time, but since I'm here and I have time and my equipment, I thought, why not? Although I am not using the microphone I normally use. All I've got with me is this Rode Wireless Go that you can see on my shoulder strap there. So if the sound isn't quite as good, I do apologize. And this here is Blur Street West. And there's a look to the west. is now heading east along the north side of Bloor. There's a rather expensive shop. There's a lot of places like that in this neighborhood. There's Blair Street and a look up into the village of Yorkville. And this stretch here is known as the Mink Mile. I think it's the most expensive real estate per square foot in Canada, or at least commercial real estate. And this is Van Bloor. I think there's another steel drummer over on the southeast corner. Street, and way, way off in the distance is the financial district. I won't quite be getting that far in this one.
One Blue or West starting to rise. Norman Foster design. And that is a super tall, or at least it will be, which is considered to be a building over 300 meters or 1,000 feet. And surprisingly, Toronto doesn't really have any true super talls at, at the moment. Well, if you count the CN Tower as a building, I guess it has one. But most definitions of a building don't include the CN Tower. And all the way at the south end of Young Street by Lake Ontario, there's another super tall going up. That is the pinnacle. So it's cool to have two rising like this at the same time. I just tried to look up <laughs> right to some construction warning. And this here is Young and Boer. This is a rather cramped corner here. Maybe I'll cross over to the east side. South down the east side of Young. There's another look at that one blur west. With all the buildings rising in the city, that would have to be my favorite project. And just one major street over to the east of here on church. It'll be a rather large festival this weekend as it is Pride Weekend, or I guess it's Pride Month, but the festival occurs this weekend and the big parade on Sunday. And that'll be going down a portion of Young. Oh, okay, I'll be back. I'll call you. Hey, <laughs> That is Charles Street. Well, this is Charles as well. Charles Street East on the left. I think the next time I come along Young, I'll do a walk talking about all the different projects going up. Certainly a number of high-rises. 
There's a building that, at least at last check, was owned by the Church of Scientology. And that has sat vacant for quite a while. Seafood and dumplings. This northern downtown part of Young has certainly seen a large influx of Asian themed restaurants. The street is Iwa. <laughs> Sorry, the street is Isabella. It is hot and I've been out walking a while. Iwa, a large Korean. Bar, restaurant, and patio is just off in that direction. And that's the Artful Dodger right next to it. This is Gloucester. There used to be a bar and restaurant in the corner here. And it turned into a hasty market. Now there's nothing. And where this building is, there used to be a bar, I think, on the corner to the south here called Bar Volo. That was quite excellent. Although I believe that has reopened just to the west of Young Street. And they've also got another bar on College Street in Little Italy. I think that one's BR Volo. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. But tomorrow night. Normally I'd be streaming, but I'll be coming down into the city and heading to my favorite bar, Betty's, on King Street East. I'll be meeting some friends I haven't seen in a while. They've actually just returned from a trip to Australia. That's one they had originally planned before the pandemic, and they finally got to have their trip. Young and Wellesley. And just in on the left is Wellesley Subway Station. the work east along Wellesley. South, yeah.
He's delivering food and he asked me where the eating center is. Yeah, just keep going south when you get to Dundas, you'll know you're there. Yeah, yeah. Like that's where Dundas Square is and everything. Cheers. I'm surprised, I'm just hitting 10,000 steps now. I started up north of Young and Eglinton and I went south all the way down to Yorkville. Well, I guess that's not too surprising. That's the first time I've gone out all day. This is Maitland Street. And I really hope they're putting some trees on the sidewalk here. I appreciate that it's nice and wide, but I think the building that was here before this new development also had a pretty wide sidewalk. It's also rather cold and sterile looking, just having this super wide gray slab sidewalk. And in here, a subway train rolling through underneath. Line one does head a north and south on Young, or at least the Young Street part of Line One does. Good job, Captain Obvious. You can always tell when I plan to walk or not <laughs> based on what I talk about. Alright, he's now chasing a car. No, he was drawing attention to himself, but he didn't seem like the kind of person who might appreciate having the camera pointed in their direction. And I've got 10 minutes to be at Young and Dundas if I'm to be on time. And I think that's very doable. And if I have to wait, I guess I'll just pop into the Samsung store and check out some TVs. So this is Carlton Street coming up. On the east side, that is. College on the west. There's a look at College Park. Originally built as a large Eaton's department store.
All right, apparently the timing's not gonna matter. I'm gonna be about 10 minutes early based on the message I just got. So I might as well head southbound to Queen and Young. Aura. That's where you'll find the new urban format IKEA. is Gerard coming up. I guess that takes some degree of talent to do. I certainly can't do that on my bike. On the left, there's a very tall tower going up. And that is by Concord. And that will be around 85 stories. And they've had to take over that project from another developer. It went belly up. And I think I just saw a sign that says Kaji Queen. <laughs> Moving in where a Swiss chalet used to be. Well, it's good to see something moving into that spot. 
There's look north of Young. And just to the left is Ryerson University. Or I guess now Toronto Metropolitan University. Like Dundas Square is being blocked off for Pride festivities probably this coming weekend. Look over at the square. And just on the right is the Eaton Center. are all going to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I have the Mervish Theater. Formerly the Pantages. I think it was the Cannon Theater after that. Uh, 
that's where that initial Toronto run of the Phantom of the Opera was held. Well, it's 6.32, so I would have been on time. I was to be at Young and Dundas by 6.30. This is Shooter Street. So coming up is Queen Street. There goes those kids again. I guess they're just joyriding up and down Young, doing their wheelies, helmet free. I'm sure that's going to end well. up young. All right, so I'm gonna make my way back north <laughs> up to Young and Dundas. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. As I started from Yorkville, Went east along Bloor to Young and then south all the way down to Young and Queen. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. There's also now a super thanks button appearing below these videos. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And I think that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.